How's it going creatives? So as a video maker, choosing the right music for your video is the ultimate key to convey the right message to your viewers. That's why it's important to choose the right track for your videos to really evoke those emotions in your audience. Now I know that picking the right music can be very challenging. That's why I created this video on how to find the best music for your content. With that said, I have five easy tips prepared for you that you can follow. Oh, and by the way, if you stick till the end of this video, I will show you two great sites where you can download free music for your YouTube videos. So with no further ado, let's get into the video. Starting with tip number one is keep the background music in the background. Now I mostly create educational content on my channel where there is a lot of explaining involved. Having loud music in the background will distract the audience. That is why I keep the background music as low as possible so that people can focus on what I'm saying. They say that the most successful background music is the music that you can't even hear. And I find that most of the time to be true. I made the mistake of having the volume in the background too loud and people started to complain. When choosing the right background music, I generally avoid songs with human voices because it makes it hard to follow the video. I usually go for instrumental music that subtly conveys the emotion of the video. Oh. Moving on to tip number two is define the mood of your video. Video is all about feelings and you want to make sure that you evoke the right emotions at the right time in your audience. So think about the mood of your video. Is the story you're telling happy or sad? Is there a lot of action involved where you want the audience to feel a tense emotion and excited? Really think about what the audience should feel at that moment. Music can be very powerful, even more powerful than what is shown. You probably heard the phrase that that sound is half the picture. And if you remove the audio from the video, like in this example, it just doesn't make it so engaging anymore. Think about your favorite movie clip and completely remove the audio. How would that feel? Not so impactful, right? So really think about how your audience should feel when they watch your videos. Another great thing I want to add on here is if you notice, I like using electronic and pop music tracks for my videos like this one. <music> Because those are songs that the majority of my audience, which the age lays between 18 and 35, will more likely enjoy. So in other words, you could say that the audio choice should also be a reflection of your intended audience. Tip number three is the pace of the music. You know by now that certain kinds of music can change your audience's mood and the pace of the music is one of them. Obviously, you want the tempo of the music to match with your video. So if you have a fast cut in your video, you would more likely choose a song with a fast pace that will excite the viewer. <laughs> On the other hand, if your video has a slow pace, slower music with lower pitch would make more sense and will make the viewers feel more sadder. For my videos, depending on the story, I usually like choosing energetic music that scans and therefore motivates and inspires viewers to act, to go out and film, because that is what my channel is about, helping inspiring others to create. You also want to think about crescendos and pauses. For example, if the music reaches a high peak and pauses afterwards, this would be a great scene for a big reveal in your story. You're too late. So as you can see, there are a lot of ways to influence your audience with music. Tip number four is to create the video first and then choose the music afterwards. Now, some people like to choose their songs first and then create the video. I sometimes do that too, especially when I'm shooting travel videos to get a sense of how the video should feel like. Now, in most cases, my tutorials here on YouTube, I usually shoot the video first import it into the timeline and then start with the video editing process. After I've edited the video, I then choose the music to match the mood of my video, which I personally think is way more easier. Now here's a pro tip for you guys. A great way to find music even quicker is to split your screen up and test different songs out. In one window, you have the video playing without music and in the other, you're testing out different songs. With this method, you will find the perfect music in no time. This will lead us to our last tip, which is tip number five, finding your music. 
Now, I like using Artlist, which I think is the best place to find original music for an affordable price. You can use the song you've downloaded in any of your videos, whether it's for YouTube, social media, or commercial videos. You're also able to use the same song for multiple projects, either for yourself or for your client. The great thing about Artlist is that you can choose from different genre and moods, which makes searching for music really easy. So for example, in the mood section, they range from uplifting to scary and dark. They also have a video theme filter where you can choose a song depending on the type of video you've created. So for for example, if it's a wedding video, you can choose wedding. And if it's a travel video, you would obviously choose travel. This works best if you combine it with the mood filter. Then there's also a genre where I like to pick electronic and pop music. Now we talked about the pace of the music. You also have the ability to select the tempo and match it with the pace of the video, which I think is really useful. Now I have been using Artlist for over a year now, and I can tell you from my experience that I have been very happy with their service. Now, for those of you that want to use music for free, meaning that you don't have to pay money in order to use the song, I have two great sites that I recommend. Now, before we get into it, you have to know that if you are planning on sharing videos on YouTube or any other platform, the song you pick should be royalty free or no copyright music because you really want to avoid copyright issues. And here's why. Reason number one, that your video could be removed. Reason number two is that you won't be able to monetize your video. And reason number three, if you keep doing that repeatedly, your account might get shut down. So in order to avoid these problems, my first recommendation is YouTube Audio Library. That is where I first started out. If you're logged into your YouTube studio, you can go to Audio Library. They have a bunch of tracks to choose from and you can sort the tracks by genre, mood as well. They also have a bunch of sound effects that you can choose from, which is really great too. Now they don't have the best music, but the great thing is that you can monetize your videos with their songs if you're planning on earning money through YouTube ads. Now do some searching and you will certainly find a song that you will like. Now the second site you can download music from that is free to use is the YouTube channel No Copyright Sound. They provide free music for content creators and they work with different artists around the world, representing genre from house, electro, pop, and many more. They have a lot of great music and different playlists that make it easy to choose music from. Now keep in mind that most of these songs require you to credit the artist if you plan on uploading videos on YouTube. The way you would do it is copy and paste the information that is in the song's video description to your YouTube video's description. Make sure to check each information individually so that you don't have to encounter any issues. Also read the term of use. Most of the songs are not eligible for commercial use. To download the music, they usually have a download link in the video description. If not, you can use sites like YouTube to MP3 Converter to download the song. I will leave a link in the video description for that as well. So these are the two sites I think are the best for getting free music and using it in your videos. I can tell you from experience that it takes practice finding the right music and you really have to train your ears to feel if the music fits in your video. But if you follow these steps, then finding music will be much easier. I hope this video was helpful. If so, leave a comment in the video description below and let me know. Subscribe to my channel so that I can keep pushing more awesome videos for you guys. Follow me at Bennett Grazer. And if you want to learn more about filmmaking, I got you covered. Go check out these two videos right here that will help you instantly grow your filmmaking skills. Until then, have a great day, stay creative, and I will see you in the next video video.